All right, guys. Well, welcome to the results meeting for June 2024. How do we do? Did good. Could have done better. Did good. Could have done better. All right. I like I like that. What do we end up with? You guys know. Six hundred and sixty-five k. Okay. So we had a lot of incompletes at the end there. We got them in. So 665K is what we ended up with. So that is less than uh, May, because May we did 831K. So um, it stopped our streak of seven months in a row. We were going up and up, up and up every month for the last seven months. So this month, we actually went down. But um, you know, I still want to put things into perspective, because it's still over 600,000. On average, we're doing 597,000. So it is still above average. And if you go backwards and check all the months, this was our third best month ever. Okay, so last year in March, we did 700,000. Last May, we did 800,000. So this was actually our third best, best month ever. So even though since May was just like incredible, it just seemed like we went down. If you look at the big picture, it was still a very good month for us historically. So let's get up for ourselves. Um, we issued six life policies. What else did we do? We, our VSR went up from 76% to 85%. We had a Hawaii contest, so congratulations to America, Enrique, Christian for the premium, and then Eva for the customer service tickets, and then Iris for the life sales, so congratulations to the Hawaii winners. And I made some bad decisions that I had to fix, so in the span of a month, you know, I have fired three people. So, uh, corrected those bad decisions, and um, we'll be strategizing about, you know, how to learn from their mistakes and things like that a little bit later in this meeting too. All right. Other things we're going to go over is the winners that we always do, how to win in the insurance business, and how to increase our motivation. And those are the things we're going to be talking about at the end. So let's get into the winners here. Most hours worked. Overall, is ninety five percent. So that's still one of the best as far as attendance goes. Last month was the best ever at 97%. So 95% overall as the average of the team is very, very strong. So I just want to acknowledge you guys for being super consistent. We come such a long ways from where we were at before in the agency. We have eight people over 100%, including Alexis at 101%, Genesis at 101, Laurel with 107, Enrique at 107, Mari with 108. Okay, big time numbers there. In the top three you have Christian with 108%, Victoria with 110%, and the first place for most hours works goes to? Jackie. Jackie with 114%. Okay. So that's a ton of hours, 182 hours. This is her third time number one for hours this year. She's our year-to-date leader too for the whole, this is kind of a cool meeting because we have all the year-to-date numbers and we're right at the halfway point of the year. So she's number one so far for the year. At 112% for the whole year, she comes in early on Mondays, and works on Saturdays and stays late on Saturdays too. So great job, Jackie, for putting the hours. It was her one year work anniversary today too. So big shout out for her. Yeah. Um, it's really tremendous how far you could come in one year. You know, and she just got her license not that long ago. So from where you first started to now the income level, the difference there is something really great to see. And what I really envision happening for everybody we hire, but not never, but it doesn't happen that way all the time, but it's great to see it working out for her in a, a big way. Most payments made, Jackie with, uh, Janelli with 30, good job there, Iris with 32, and first place finisher for most payments. Emma. Emma with 100. <laughs> well, this is your fourth, fourth month in a row with most payments, and now three straight months over 100 payments. Okay, so they're still taking a lot of payments there. Great job there. Most phone calls, Victoria with 531, Christian with 562, first place for most phone calls. Eva again with 935. They're okay, helping us with a lot of inbound calls. Another stats I like to look at is outbound calls, because this really shows who's making those follow-up calls. We have America with 289 calls, Alexis with 300 outbound calls, great there. Great job there, and Christian with 327 calls. So making those follow-up calls is really important, so that number is something good when it comes to sales agents. Most phone hours, Lupe with 69 hours on the phone, Christian with 77, and first place finisher for most hours on the phone? Victoria. Victoria with 79. Okay. So she's been in the top two every single month this year. Uh, she is number one for the last six months, and she's average 
averaging uh, 90 hours a month. So the average is 50, so she's on the phone 90 hours per month on average. So she's someone that's always on the phone, always hustling, trying to get deals. So great job to her. Best month ever. So we had 10 last month, we have five this month. Not on the board here because best month ever is usually start at 15K, but I still want to shout out somebody that is had her best month ever. So that's Sam with 13K, so let's get up for Sam. Okay, o almost at the baby shark level, okay, getting that up there. Okay, we have somebody who had her best month ever on her second month. Let's give up for day with 23K. So her first month ever last month, she did 11,000. Now she's already over 20,000, already not a baby shark. Now her closing ratio was first place of all the agents, 43%. So that's a great number there, great signs for things to come. And looking forward to seeing her at the top tier soon, 40K, that's kind of a goal we have. And I think one of the other things that we have is that um, the late shift uh, closing, that's gonna be something that's a little bit more urgent and that we need someone to step up there. So really looking forward to uh, her stepping up in that way. So great job today when we have somebody else in this room with their best month ever. Let's give it up for Wendy with 26,000. So this is her third month and now she's already doing 25K. I'm not sure if you remember back in the days where 25K was a big number and it took months to months. So she did it only in her third month. And great job, Judith. Thank you so much for helping her out and increasing her number. Last month was 11K now all the way up to 26K, so that's a big jump there. And also looking forward to her having great months and getting up to the top tier too, which is now 40K. So great job there, Wendy. And another person in this room who had their best month ever. Jackie with 36,000, thank you, yes, baby. You know? So for only the fourth month, 5K, 27K, 34K, 36K. 36% closing ratio, so every single month she's had her best month ever, 114% attendance, fourth in phone hours, and just kind of keep getting better and better is the only way I could see her go. So looking forward to her seeing her at the top tier too, which is 40K too. So let's give her Jackie one more time. Another person with their best month ever here, in the 50s here, 55,000. Let's go for Christian. Seven months in a row now, started in December every single month, so Jackie, that's gonna be a hard goal to reach, but uh, that's the, the all-time record of best month in a row. Seven months in a row, best month ever. So that's all I can ask for is just keep improving, and we'll definitely talk more about him later. All right, let's get to the big awards now. Customer service rep of the month. Okay, we have Janelli with 23. Iris with 28 tickets completed. And the first place was most tickets completed. Who do we have here? Eva. Let's get up for Eva. Congratulations. Is she? <laughs> Marshall. No. <laughs> Thank you both. So this is her fourth month in a row now. Okay, just dominating this category. And this is something we need because, you know, there's a little bit of time difference with uh, TCO. And it's kind of hard to ask them to work till nine. So having a CSR that works all the way till seven, that's a huge responsibility that she takes. She does a really good job at. So most tickets completed, most customer service broker fee, most calls, most payments. So thank you so much, everyone, once again, for uh, being the customer service rep of the month. Life agent of the month. We have Iris with one, and then we have our first place finisher for our life agent of the month in this room here. <laughs> and Ricky. Let's get off for All right, congratulations. In three months, we had the quarter two promotion ending. Enrique, he did $1,900 from sales. It's funny that the market reforms are actually more, $3,000 for the market reforms, $500 for the bonus for being the life agent of the quarter. So he made $5,400 off life insurance last month. Great job there. Hustle Award. Okay, there's 27 of us, so it's hard to be nominated here, but Alexis with 101% attendance, fifth in phone calls, fourth in phone hours. Christian, he's been nominated many times now, 108% attendance, second in phone calls, second in phone hours. And Victoria, it's funny how they sit right next to each other, so they're kind of competing there. 110% uh, attendance, third in phone calls, first in phone hours. So we have an agency full of hard workers, eight people over 100% attendance, uh, phone hours getting higher and higher, so we have a lot of hard workers. But for June, the Hustle Award goes to, again, Victoria, with three months in a row as, with her attendance and her phone hours. Uh, great job, Victoria, for just being a hard worker, and she has been very consistent this year, too. All right, let's get into the premium category here. 
third and most premium. So we have somebody who definitely knows about being in the top three, but it's been a while. But let's give it up for Kalia for 51,000. Congratulations. Super excited for uh, Kalia and Kevin. You know, I just love seeing families grow and people working hard to be able to afford having a family, which is not easy these days. So it really takes a lot of uh, a team effort on their part and um, a lot of responsibility too. So I just love seeing things like that because, especially with Kalia, but with many of you guys, you know, seeing when, where they first started to seeing they grow, it's a really special moment. So it almost sounds like I'm encouraging it, but you know, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> please take turns. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get up for Kalia. I mean, it's just, just, just a really uh, special moment. And I, I, I love families. I love seeing families grow. And I, I love, you know, when parents are working hard for their kids. And I think it's, it unlocks another level of motivation. And she's been in the top three many times, but this has been her first time since October 2023. She's, we could definitely call her a home expert, you know, in California and, and in Texas. So six of her sales for, for homes, which are bigger premium too. She made $4,400 in commission, and that's $56 an hour she made. And just we're just very super excited to see her fam uh, family grow and continue to uh, have bigger months for us. So let's get it for Kelly. All right, second place, most premium. All right, we have Christian here with $55,000. Let's get it for Christian. First time ever, top three. <laughs> oh, yeah, you wanted a hug? Okay, here you go, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> All right, so $5,600 in commission, $3,000 in uh, base, so you made $8,700 last month. Which is great because $8,300 is what you need to make every single month to make 100K. And one thing about Christian, he got hired in December, and that first month we had a vision board, and he just straight out told the world, I want to make 100K. He wasn't shy about it at all. And, you know, it's only been seven short months, but for him to be, have a type of month, and with his consistency, I, just to get to this point is a big deal because he's getting so much closer to his goal there. 108% attendance comes in early with Genesis every single day, early, every single day this year, second in calls, second in phone hours, first in quotes, okay, I think that's a big one, okay, just being ready in quotes, being ready for the chat. He was $1,300 away from the agent of the month. I personally thought he won it, okay? So that's my mistake. I was like, okay, you know what? This is the parking is a big deal. Let's just see. announce it, Laura. And I said, Laura, announce it. And, um, you know, we did the math, and uh, Yuchan came up with the official results. Sometimes you learn more about somebody when you have, I'm not sure if you call it disappointing, but, you know, disappointing news or some, some, something that might, might be a letdown. But he took it like a champ, and in fact, um, during the weekly wins, he came up here and said, you know, my, my weekly win is that I was agent a month for two days. <laughs> <laughs> that was his weekly win. So to make light of that situation is something I already kind of knew about him, but, you know, he's not about the wars. He's not about the recognition. He's really about the money. He is about the money. So uh, I think that's why it didn't bother him at all. And again, when you have bad news and just not having it affect him at all, he's really proud and being in the top two for the first time. Let's get up for Christian for just a of the month. All right, speaking of consistency here, we have Enrique, agent of the month with 56,000. Let's get up for Enrique. <laughs> so 10 months in a row in the top three now. Back-to-back -to -back agent of the month, he's averaging 60,000 for the whole year. 100%, 7% attendance, fifth in phone hours, third in business policies, three business policies, five life policies, Hawaii contest winner, uh, Q2, life agent of the quarter. So he made, with the life agent bonus, $7,500 in commission. And he added to the base, that's $10,700 he made last month. Big time numbers there. And one of the things I have to tell you about his uh, month last month is it was June 25th, it was Wednesday, and I was in Hawaii. And I'm still waking up early and running the numbers and stuff like that. And I said, oh, shoot, we're short one life policy. And I let Laura know. And um, that's a big stress. I don't want to be in a lot of stress when I'm on vacation. But it was a big stress for me because our commissions with farmers would get cut if you didn't sell that one more life policy. So Laura probably messaged you guys trying to figure out what to do. And I messaged some of you guys individually, too, including Enrique. 
hey, we're one life policy short, please do what you can to just sell one policy. And it's kind of hard to ask for us because there's only that day, Thursday and Friday, and you have to submit it by that, probably that day or Thursday at, at the very latest to get it issued by Friday, I thought. And he just replied to me, this is classic Enrique because very short and to the point, but he said on it with explanation point. <laughs> he was like, say less. And he issued two. Uh, Iris, thank you so much, also issued two, but you know, sometimes things take a while or they don't get approved underwriting and his was the one that got issued on the very last day of the month. So you guys are thinking, wow, that helped me, but that really saved all of us too. Thank you for carrying us and really being there when we most needed it. It was a really clutch performance there. So let's get for Enrique one more time. All right guys, so how to win in the insurance business.